Okay, let's go again. Who knows about snapshot testing? Okay, so we have a bunch of folks on Twitch we don't, who don't know about what snapshot testing is about, which is normal. It's something that is not super well known. However, it's one of my favorite things on the planet, and I'm going to show you. So here at the moment, you may have seen that I have exit code that I need to test from this process. And I expect the exit code to be one. I expect my console tool to fail. Okay, so this is actually looking good. But then the output, I don't want to test that the output only contains this little thing. I want to test the full thing. Most importantly, I want to detect the output changes in terms of spacing, in terms of coloring, in terms of, you know, all, of, all those grindy, tiny little details. Now, as you cannot imagine, it would be kind of awkward if I were to, you know, do something like this, like literally copy pasting this entire thing. Can you imagine a test that looks like this? Blech, you know? So what I can do is use snapshot testing. And the only thing I will do, just stack this out, the only thing I will do is type this to match snapshot. Okay? It's the only thing I will do. Now check this out. The very first time I'm gonna run this given test, past PHP will tell me the following. You have one incompleted test. However, a snapshot was created at this given directory. And now, if I run my test suite, the test suite is passing as expected. So what exactly happened? Well, past PHP on the first time he ran this test, he created this dot past snapshots console output test it may fail, which is this given file with all the output that we are expecting. As you can see, we are expecting this entire output. So the second time he running, it will compare this given output to the one we have stored on the system. Isn't this thing like just fucking magical? <laughs> this is like the best thing in the planet. You have literally, can you imagine like the things you can do? Like on Laravel, for example, you can literally type something like, uh, get the full homepage and I get the response from this and I expect the response to match snapshot. Can, can you imagine how powerful this is? We are comparing an entire output, which is ugly, like ugly awesome, you know, ugly awesome. And we are testing that the output didn't change. How awesome this is. By the way, let's test this in practice. Let's test this in practice. So I'm going to go into my check command. And as you may well know, we were just refactoring something really complicated. Like this entire code is super complicated. So let's do something that would potentially impact the output, okay? So I'm gonna go into this term win project and I'm gonna potentially, you know, remove this little, this little margin X2. I'm gonna remove this and hopefully our test suite will just fail. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this like amazingly cool? I literally made one little thing right here and now my test suite is failing. How cool this how cool this is. Oh my god. Let's for example, do you see this misspelling? Let's remove like the ink and run our test suite. Now it's failing again because there is like literally a difference between what we had before and what we have now. Mwah. Love it. How can I regenerate the snapshot from Canada? That's a great question. So imagine that you come to the output and you actually want to change the output because we effectively made the change. So what you can do is literally come here, do the change, and then you run past PHP just like this. Vendor being passed, dash dash, update snapshots. Okay, you do like this. Now, the first time you run this, it will again recreate the snapshot. This So this first run that you made locally doesn't count. However, the second one in the one on the CI will now have this test suite passing as expected. So, no, 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 no. So far, we have applied this to a small console output, but you can effectively apply this stuff to anything you can ever imagine, like HTML content on a response. If you have a truly static page, which you would expect never change, you can expect the HTML of that response to match the snapshot which you have stored it on your GitHub. You know what I mean? And as you can see, all of the snapshots are actually being committed 
to the project. So that's something I haven't mentioned regarding snapshot testing. All of the snapshots literally go to the to the project itself, you know? That's why when people pull this project afterwards, their output in their own machines will be compared against this one, okay?